Welcome to this week's edition of Military News Review from our News and Current Affairs Department. It is a program that highlights major military events of the week. Chief of Army Staff Lieutenant General Tukuru Burata last week disclosed that the first phase of Operation Safe Conduct was a huge success despite the bomb explosion in some parts of Meduguri and attack in Gaidam, where troops of Operation Life Yadule were able to defeat the attackers and secure the area for a successful conduct of elections. General Burotai disclosed these during a meeting with the principal staff officers, general officers commanding and directors at Army Headquarters Abuja. He urged commanders in all Army formations and units to consolidate on the success recorded and prepare adequately for the second phase of the election. He also directed them to review plans with a view to correcting observed lapses to enable INEC conduct a peaceful poll to reflect the wishes of Nigerians. The Army Chief reiterates the resolve of the Nigerian Army to enforce all guidelines in support of the Nigerian Police Force to ensure the peaceful conduct of the forthcoming gubernatorial election as State Assembly elections align with its constitutional roles. General Burotai noted that a high-powered committee had been convened to investigate all cases of alleged misconduct by troops arising from the 2019 general election with the aim of ensuring that all areas are thoroughly looked into for the purpose of dispensation of justice and to uphold Nigerian army's credibility, professionalism and a political stand. European Union observers for Nigeria 2019 general election last week met with the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukaburitai, along with his principal staff officers at the Army Headquarters, Abuja. In a statement issued by the Acting Director, Army Public Relations, Colonel Seger Musa, said that the purpose of the visit is to gain insight of the Nigerian Army on its roles and responsibilities in the recent federal election and the upcoming state election. Meanwhile, the Head of Delegation and Deputy Chief Observer, Ms. Hannah Roberts, commended the Nigerian Army under the leadership of Lieutenant General Tukaburitai and other sister security agencies for their commendable roles during the just-concluded federal elections. In his remark, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukaburitai, on behalf of the entire personnel of the Nigerian Army, expressed appreciation to the delegates for the visit, as he explained that the role of the Nigerian Army is not to interfere with the electioneering process as peddled by mischief makers, but performing the constitutional duty as guaranteed by the Constitution of Nigeria, which is to provide security. He added that the army is prepared and ready to support the Nigerian police and other security agencies to ensure secure and peaceful conduct of the election, while emphasizing that the army is apolitical and neutral and will support the police and civil authority to deal with threats to national security. Nigerian army last week released the postings and appointments of some of its senior officers. The acting director of Army Public Relations, Colonel Segur Musa, said those affected include Major General ECN Obi, who has been posted to Defense Headquarters as Chief of Defense Standard and Evaluation, Major General LF Abdullahi from Headquarters Nigerian Army Education Corps to Defense Headquarters Director of Veteran Affairs Division. Others are Major General OG Adeni from Defense Headquarters to Theater Command Operation Lafayette Dole and appointed Deputy Theater Commander while Brigadier General GK Mwosu, the Chief of Staff Headquarters 82 Division, has been posted to Nigerian Army Special Forces School as Acting Commandant. Brigadier General CA Apere from Nigerian Army Special Forces School to 82 Division as Chief of Staff. Similarly, Brigadier General K.I. Yusuf has been posted to Nigerian Army School of Finance and Accounts and appointed Commandant. Brigadier General M.N.B. Maman from Headquarters Nigerian Army Engineers, Sappers Engineering Nigerian Limited to Headquarters Nigerian Army Engineers and appointed Director Army Works, among others. Nigerian military in the past week said certain powerful forces in Benway were responsible for the recent attacks on communities in the state. The force commander, Operation World Stroke, Major General Adeyemi Akini, who made the statement at the media briefing in Makordi, said such individuals were instigating violence as could be seen in the recent attacks on communities preceding major elections in the country. The force commander said the military outfit had intensified operations along Luko, Agatu, Kwande and other border communities in Benue to prevent reoccurrence of the attacks. He condemned the preference to cattle over human lives by those who retaliated because of cattle theft. 
The sector commander, Operation Wolf Stroke Flight Officer Mohamed Abubakar, in Gwe West local government area, said some people were using military uniforms to rustle cattle. It could be recalled that Operation Will Stroke was inaugurated by President Mohamed Buhari last year to tackle cases of armed banditry on communities in Benue, Nasarawa and Taraba State. Two Brigade Nigerian Army Uyo in Akwaibom within the past week embarked on a joint show of force parade. Speaking to newsmen during the exercise in Uyo, Assistant Director, Army Public Relations, Major Bashiri Jajira, said the exercise was in conjunction with other sister security agencies in the state. Major Jajira explained that the exercise was aimed at instilling confidence in the electorate to come out en masse and vote for candidates of their choice during the governorship and state house of assembly elections on March 9. He, however, noted that the command would deal decisively with anyone involved in political thuggery, ballot box snatching, arson and other electoral offences. Nigerian Army last week won recruits, applicants of 78 regular recruit intake against fraudsters requesting for monetary inducements in return for enlistment into the service. A statement issued by the Acting Director of Army Public Relations, Colonel Segir Musa in Abuja, stated that selection into the Nigerian Army is free without any charges or inducement. From the point of application online through its portal to the last stage of the selection process which are in phases. According to him, the phases range from credential screening, medical tests, physical and mental tests, aptitude tests, and to oral interview. Colonel Musa stressed that selection into the Nigerian Army is also carried out in line with the Nigerian Army policy and guidelines on recruitment, as contained in the harmonized terms and condition of service soldiers, ratings, and airmen revised 2017 edition to determine and select suitable physically and mentally fit young able-bodied men and women for the service. While advising candidates to desist from giving gratification to anyone in the guise of helping them to gain enlistment into the Nigerian army, the Army spokesman therefore urged the public to further report any individual requesting gratification from potential recruits to the headquarters directorate of recruitment with settlement. Nigerian Navy within the past week arrested about 130 vessels over crimes perpetrated in the maritime sector and other activities between 2018 and February 28. The statement issued by the Director, Naval Information, Commodore Suleiman Dahou in Abuja, noted that the Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Ibk Ite Bas, disclosed this while hosting the Executive Secretary, Nigerian Shippers Council, NSC, Hassan Bello, who led a delegation to Abuja headquarters of the Nigerian Navy to seek improved partnership between both organizations. According to Commodore Dahou, the arrests were made following the recent enhancement of Navy surveillance capabilities. Early in his address, the Executive Secretary, NSC, observed that one of the major challenges in maritime sector is insecurity, therefore called on Nigerian Navy to stem the tide. Nigerian Air Force last week deployed fighter planes and attack helicopters in some potential flashpoints across the country, ahead of the Saturday's governorship and State House of Assembly elections. The Nigerian Air Force spokesman, Air Commodore Ibikule Darmala, while addressing newsmen in Abuja, said that attack helicopters, fighter planes and intelligence gathering platforms have been put on standby for potentially violence-prone areas. According to him, airlifting of electoral materials to 31 locations in the country for onward distribution to Central Bank of Nigeria CBN locations and polling stations has been concluded, while other aircrafts like the ISL platforms, attack platforms and helicopters have also been deployed in different locations across the country. Meanwhile, the Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal Sadiq Abubakar, who had a meeting with the Air Force commanders, said that contingency plans were put in place in case of any breakdown of law and order, noting that Nigerian Air Force hospitals and medical centers were put on the alert to assist in attending to any medical emergencies. Nigerian Air Force during the week under review replaced the surveillance helicopter it's used in Kwara State during the February 23rd elections. The Air Force commander in the state, Air Commodore A. Adamu, while disclosing these to newsmen, said that a military jet had been deployed in the state for Saturday's elections. He stated that the jet had better surveillance capability than the helicopter and that residents should not be afraid when they see the jet flying. According to Commodore Adamu, the military jet is basically for surveillance purposes and is ready to support the police as the helicopter earlier used on February 23rd had been redeployed to fight Boko Haram insurgency in the northeast. 
Also speaking, the State Commissioner of Police, Kayodi Egbetokun, said that the developments should not cause panic among residents, stressing that the Nigerian Air Force is helping the police to provide adequate security during the election. The Commissioner of Police, however, reiterated that other security agencies, including the Nigerian Army and the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, had deployed their men. And that's where we end this week's edition of Military News Review. I am Chile Anokuru, and I'm with... Miriam Okpala, saying many thanks for staying with us. Mm-hmm.